15 North Dakota National Guard chaplains, chaplain affairs airmen, and chaplain affairs army technicians attended a three-day chaplain professional development training course at Camp Grafton Training Center August 2nd through the 4th. So it's our opportunity to train our chaplains, religious affairs airmen and specialists, NCOs, in uh, a number of different uh, training topics. So we focused uh, some of our training this time on religious accommodation. Uh, there's been some recent uh, changes in regulation and so we wanted to apprise our, our uh, chaplains, our religious support teams, uh, chaplains, chaplains assistants of that and uh, arm them with the information needed so that when they come upon that issue, they're, they're ready. The course included classroom instruction and discussions as well as hands-on religious support team tactical movement training with chaplains and their enlisted airmen and soldier support personnel simulating convoy attack response practices. What we're trying to accomplish is familiarization in functioning uh, as uh, teams are per the chaplain and the religious affairs NCO, uh, getting them in an environment where they can react to stress, pressure of indirect fire, direct fire, and having to function together as a team. One of the key concepts is improvise, adapt, and overcome, and realize that you could say in your mind that this isn't going to ever happen to me, but it can, and you just need to know what do I need to do best to get through the situation and to succeed. The course attendees participated in a UH-60 Blackhawk familiarization flight because it would be more likely form of transportation on a deployment as well as in-state emergencies. We wanted to get our, some of our chaplains and assistants have ridden on helicopters and in military aircraft, but um, some haven't. And we wanted to get them a familiarization with that so that if they're called upon in a combat environment or this side of things, whether it's a notification that uh, it's not the first time they've been on an aircraft. Topics covered during the course were religious liberty and religious accommodation and a cultural awareness briefing. We think it's vital to come to this training. One, we can be prepared as a team. We want to see each other. We want to build that relationship so that when we have a soldier or an airman in need, I can call Chaplain Cheney, I can call Chaplain Erville or Chaplain Gant, whatever whoever the person is to, to get that support.